you understand the mosaic of culture about how movies sort of affect everything. Has it always been like that for you? Yeah. I mean, most of my, most of my life, I've gotten a lot of my markers from movies and behavioral things, you know, uh, whether it was recognizing that no one can slap me across the face, you know, like Sydney said, do you know what you just hit me? Did you really just hit me across my face? See, that comes, that comes from there. <laughs> That's where I got that from. Cause I knew as soon as Sydney turned around and looked at that man, that that was not acceptable. <laughs> it was not acceptable. So movies have often uh, given me insight as to how other people may be feeling about things. Of course, they're talking about In the Heat of the Night. What I registered in that moment, too, was the other actor, that look of delight on his face when Sidney slapped him back. I mean, that was that was the thrill to me because was, for the first time, it felt like Sidney wasn't in the world as a Black person by himself. For me, Sidney was instinctual. He was an instinctual actor. And when I watched him, I, that's the only time, exactly as you're saying, that it was like, okay, you're not the only one here. You see the guy behind you, sees it, and he just, he, his face said everything. It's like, good, somebody needs to slap your behind back, you know, because you, you know. And I, I have to say, I love all those actors in that scene because it could not have been an easy one to shoot. You brought up Sydney, and you know, got to ask you what it was like if you remember seeing him win the Oscar. What what your memory is of that? Yes, I remember my mother and my brother and I jumping up and down, just jumping up and down. It's like wow, our guy won. The winner is Sydney Portier. <laughs> And it's because we loved Sydney. It's just because we loved the actor. And then later on, I sort of understood the, the weight of what he had done. Because it is a long journey to this moment, I am naturally indebted to Countless numbers of people. But I didn't understand it at the time. I just knew we loved Sydney. 